Right, so today I need to work on two things primarily. Realistically, the primary thing is that I need to work on FOWSI to get some, some kind of intermediary loader because even though it builds fine on Linux, on um, Windows, I have linker errors when I'm trying to compile the I'm GUI uh, library for FOWSI like this thing in here that craps out because of course at this point it's trying to link into photo WSI, which is just an interface which is just, just a bunch of headers there's nothing actually back there and it just spits out this it can't seem to wait until afterwards when it, there is actually something like to uh, when it's linking in the application time at application link time it can't do that. And the same thing actually happens on Mac OS, exact same deal. So for both of those, I need to kind of create some kind of, I mean, I suppose I was going to have to create a loader sometime if I wanted to keep it using like uh, dynamic uh, runtime loading. I just was just hoping to put it off for a bit longer than now. But in order to do that, I need to deal with the one C++ type I keep reusing and that's this standard error code. I can't convert this to a C style um, interface if I have this C++ t uh, type just being uh, spat out by all of these. That's just not going to work. So what I really need to do first, the first part of this will be, I need to create some kind of C compatible error code type that I can then easily convert into the standard error code once I get out of once I get past the C interface layer. So for that, I'm going to go into here and start making something. Error code CPP. I'm going to need some kind of struct type. That much is kind of for uh, for sure. Let's grab that. Read catch HPP. And to do this, I'm going to require some bits of. I need some kind of uh, error code to start with. Like this. So let's say in the empty namespace, we'll create a new empty namespace and we'll have a test case. Um, codes as expected. Something like this. We'll, we'll create a very cheapo error code. And empty enum. So it's just what test result. Test success, test error. Like that. And we need the infrastructure that goes around that. So we're going to need a error category. We have locally, so replace all this with just test. Test success and test error. All this stuff, and we need to be able to convert this enum into an error code. She needs to be in the empty namespace area. Test result. Make error code. Hmm, okay. Uh, there's probably something on the HPP side. I'll need this, I presume. Not sure about the space there, but okay. I need to say that this type is a convertible type. Is error code enum 
standard true type. Not entirely... Okay, whatever. It, it works. I'll be happy with it. So let's... Uh, section... Standard code, error code, and acquire or error code and acquire, or rather check. I can check these. Dot value equals test success and check that the message is test success same thing for test error and that, that is an error type add that to this a, B, C, D, E. Uh, test foe, and we're just testing. So test, test, foe. Just that. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. What's going on here? No matching function to call for make error code. Really? Are you sure about that? This thing doesn't exist at all? Are you sure about that? Okay. Do I need this? Like have it forward declared like this? No. Hmm. Oh, is this because this is considered inside the anonymous namespace? The answer is yes. All right. So we got that. Now, what I'm interested in is, okay. What I can do is, I need I need the intermediary type. I need the C compatible struct type. So I'll need a struct of some sort. That's like, you know, foe error code, like that. It'll take in two things. First, an int code or value. And error category is the other interesting thing. What is an error category? It's based on this, which is this type, which is... An empty type, which is just used for uh, functions. Yeah, okay. And I have that there because I'm passing in that to be equal. Uh, okay. It's an operator equal, so it's copied around after the initial copy. So, but if I, if I always have this hiding somewhere, then I can just always like point back to it. So, I can say category, something like that. Void star category. Now, can I... First of all, make this a error code type like that. And then I can convert it to an error code this way. So if I pass the faux error code out uh, through the C API, then I use this to just convert it straight up to um, e dot value. dot category and it'll be like star no is that a cast standard code. 
star. Like that, and then we point at it. Nope, not quite. Oh, category. There we go. Mm, that'll work. Maybe. So let's actually test this. So. Standard error code operates as expected. Okay. I'll also probably want some kind of type that converts from an error code to an to this as well. So error code, we'll just say this. Test equals equals that and dot category equals and category for the moment. Um, for const. Yeah, that'll work. Mm -hmm. And then we say, okay. Equals test. Okay. Forty-eight, forty-four to fifty. Okay, this is looking good. Hmm. So out of error code. Hold on. Oh, I don't think I can convert from error code to this because that's going to lose me. Hmm. Ah, it's just a straight up reference to the thing that's internal. That's not really or hold on. Yeah, it's an internal thing. And checking error category. Is there anything else? Is there a type that allows me to what? Oh, yeah, okay, categories. Equivalent. Hmm. Wait, a portable error code. Wait, 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 wait. This error condition is a pointer type? No. A pointer to an error category. Okay. And the error code is what? And a pointer to an uh, holds an error code originating from that, and a pointer to an object of type standard error category, which corresponds. So yeah. Hmm. 
What's a constructor of an error code? Make error code. That in a standard generic category. Like, is that an... Um, is that an equal? Like, is that a copy or is this a pointer? I'm not... I... Hmm. I might, might be able to do something with that then. Uh, can I check? Category equals end. Error category. Const that to const error code. Error category, that's what I have. This is what this is. So the answer is basically no. No. No, 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 no. If I go roll back to the their condition or a portable error code compared to a platform dependent error code. I construct it with the exact same thing. It's a value and an error category. What the hell is the difference between these two then? They look basically the same. This has got a modifier and observer compared to this, but. This is. The same thing. Like, it's just. Uniquely identified by an integer value and a category, but unlike error code, the value is not platform dependent. And this one is platform dependent somehow. Object holds an error code originating from the operating system or some low level interface and a pointer to the object of category which corresponds to the interface. Error code values may not be unique across different error categories. Is that something else? This doesn't have that uh, unique they may not be unique so this these would have to be unique somehow but I really don't understand why they're they were introduced in the same standard as well they're effectively the same I don't under okay whatever it's it is what it is it's it's weird That still doesn't help me for this um, getting the retrieving the category out of this thing. Like at all. That's just not going to help me at all. I don't, I don't know how, yeah, okay, category. Maybe, okay, let's have a look at what error cat code is. Supposedly, this is a pointer type. Is this public? This is all very public, except for these two. 
All right. This is a. This is an avatar. Like this is exactly what I want. This is a pointer. I just want to gra get that pointer out of this. That's private. It's okay. Auto. Okay, so this is right now. Abstract class. Okay, that's fine. Const error. Can I? I'm going to, have to do some black magic for this. To pointer. Convert const reference to pointer. Returns the pointer to object. Dot name. Okay. Uh, let's do some very very. Naughty things. Reinterpret cast. We'll change it to a void star of this. Testing the wrong one. I don't want to. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Test. What do I have it configured for? I have it configured for this. That's good. Let's go. So MCAT is 2458. This is just 2458. Okay. Okay. Very, very naughty. But I am, um, it might just work. And ultimately, if it works, I'm going to just be happy. This is what you get for hiding stuff away. In C++ classes, makes it really hard to do some things you really should be able to do. So, let's see if I can if I can do this. Um, Okay. I can probably make this an implicit. I can probably make 
I can add some constructors for this perhaps to make things a little bit easier if you have C++ available. Otherwise it'd be kind of an inline type. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. third level from standard error code to full error code back to standard error code does it provide what I want so equals test success Then we do this again, back to this, unused ver, uh, that. Start error C becomes that, this becomes error C, like that, okay. Kind of like got this going on, then we got test error instead. It's not just because if it goes out of scope, would it still be? What is the address of this error category? Please tell me it's what I'm hoping it is. M category that. Uh, what is and error. 2148, okay. 215, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So this can work. Okay, include foe error code. Is this, no, this will be an H type. It has to be an H type to start with. If it C++ is available, we'll use it for some things, but otherwise that and that, we start off with the air cat, this. If death this, and if, We'll do this. Okay, basically, yeah.
I don't even need to do this really. I just need to do the C++ in here. Otherwise, this will look just like a regular. Yeah, it would. Okay. Um, value. Error code dot value. And category. Dot. this can I just inline can I inline that I don't know if I can uh, but we'll just scrap these oh and then yeah have some things down here need to be able to convert it to an error code like that and put this like this. Inline, it's one liner. this stuff include If I have a constructor, then I can't do this. Hmm. Hmm. Not great. Okay, we can kind of do bits and pieces. Do that. Now how do we do this? Copy and move constructor, we can probably add them. That would make sense. If we can find where error code is. Where's the error code I have? Where's mine? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Int value. The category. that change up error code down here if 
effectively the same thing here. Test error, that, that, okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay, that that basically does work well enough. Um, so I'll, I guess I'll add this, that, that, and that. These three things. I need some description as to what the hell I'm doing here. Value category combination useful to pass up as such. reconstruct C plus plus versa implicitly very nice 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 Good, it's all good. Okay, we're still good on this. Is there anything else? Any other constructors I can think of? Just the value of the category from the error code. That's kind of it. I do I want to bother with the other uh, error condition? Not really, no.
Got an EEC compatible. Okay. That. Now. We've got all that. Wait, error code. I did convert to yes. <clears throat> so, moving on down here. I'm going to have to include error code dot h when I convert this to using oh, error code. And I gotta do it C style, so it needs to be from the beginning here instead. Which is not great. That's gonna break some of the things. Like this. Hmm. Not quite, but also yes. This just kind of delegates down to that. We convert it from FWSI this title visible PD window okay now is that actually going to go to back to the same function or is it going to go to the this one functions that differ only in the return There we go. Odd, but it works. And it still allows me to keep the ease of use of just returning that, which I'll take. And then this, I can just do this because it'll return, it'll co implicitly convert it for me nice and easily. And then on the other end, wherever we use it, like here, uh, in application of CPP, I believe, it is just going to not quite convert it down how I had hoped.
Okay. It's getting better. It works fine. Okay, and then the window, da, 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 the application, this converted straight to the error code from this type, which was pretty perfect. So uh, then I can now convert this to a C API completely because that was basically that was the one thing I was holding back on was the fact that I could not convert this to a C API because of that standard error code. So I don't need that anymore. If this I need that and I need to close it up down here I do that kind of change these around a little bit linkage specified but returns user to find type of that which is incompatible with C mm-hmm interesting so that's not working great Uh, extern struct. Do I have to do like an extern C struct type? By C standards, this will appear as if it's just this. This won't be there, and neither will any of this. This is also gone. So, I'm pretty sure this will be fine. It's not complaining about anything here. I am not sure if this is actually like extern. Do I have to extern see these things? I might have to. Uh, and um, uh, symbols for libs for usi gofw. Sorry, not dot a dot so. What is in here? Okay. There's a lot of stuff in here I don't really want to care about. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's more stuff than I can even display. Let's grab a new console. Git engine build. Okay, well, not quite that big. Uh, 
Uh, what was it doing? Can I um, that? Oh, there it is. No, not quite. Here, here they are. These are indeed that. Do I? Okay, so do I have to do like X turn C? Or is it just like determining that it is? I mean, it appears as if it is showing up as this. Okay, so then the, the, the real question is, if I was to trash this, doesn't do anything. Rebuild it. Like that. And then rerun it. Uh, grip window. Then they come back and come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, here we go. Now, then it's like all bunch of other stuff. So yeah, if I I I guess if I just do this, it's fine. I thought I had to do it both here and on the source side, but if I only have to do it on one side, then yeah, okay. I'll take it. Sure, it's not crazy. So we're going from if I can find it in this morass here, these guys, and then we do the same thing again. Then they're just yeah, playing like that. Super simple. These are all like lower case things. So if I was to Let's just strip this. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. And strip. I only want to get rid of the stuff. Okay, so is it strip dash s? The things I don't really need. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, it's still actually gone. Um, resave it. So it'll rebuild it. We've got symbols again. Strip dash s. Rerun. Still a lot of lowercase stuff. Dash X. So right now, and then that is just a whole bunch of stuff. And if we go strip, dash X, lowercase, there's a lot less stuff in there. There's still some, there's a lot less. Uh, which are presumably these are things. These are the things that are actually in here, and the the U items are items that it needs to find from elsewhere. And I'm not sure what these Ws are about. Yep, 
give me okay uh man and then www capital w the symbol is a weak symbol that has not been specifically tagged as a weak object symbol when a weak defined symbol is linked with a normal defined symbol the normal defined symbol is used with no error hmm okay i don't know what that means but i assume it's okay So, C compatible. Great. We got this. We make some modifications, minor modifications to this. Where is this? Const. Mm -hmm. I'll just change this to actually just fully match. that uh, const star that's right yet not quite okay so don't quite do this yet I'm not gonna commit this yet I'm going to work on the loader first so actually I'm okay, I'm guessing that this is one of those things that's hiding in there somewhere Windows CPP no sorry because of this extra one function which I don't know where it is It is indeed C++ fun stuff. Name mangled. So that does mean I can't use this from C yet. And I probably need to figure out something better to, some better way to deal with this as well. But not quite yet, because first I need a new loader. I need to create the first loader. And this for the moment we got this I really don't want to put this in the exports because it's really not same thing with this is this wrong because I have it being generated here. Put that up. Let's bring up the MSVC version. Curious. I'm not exactly sure what I did. Oh, yeah, the error code type. So presumably 
this this may be a bit of an issue it may be expecting it to be exported from the same object and that's why it's freaking out so what if let's just pretend we do have something here right we, we we do have a file we have a file that's like it's on an interface it's a shared 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 we have exports we do have this here for this and this is the thing we're exporting great so I need to make sure let's clear that out entirely so we have this we're going to have this we're going to have to add a source we don't see Okay. Is this broken just because it's expecting Oh yeah, uh public. Because this file must have something going on inside of it. Libs, WSI, exports, this, 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 into here. How does this work? This is only... defined on the linking of or the declaration of this stuff right on a few items we have one and it's actually just during the linking okay that's the only time it's declared it's just linking that so I may have just been wrong and no well maybe not Something's wrong somewhere. Oh, yeah, this uh, public. Uh, I'm just not exporting thing, anything, am I? Okay, do that. Now we have something exported. Now, what's going on? Cannot open file this. Really? Are you, really? Again? Are you sure about that? Uh... something actually exported from it okay that and I'm gonna like export just the symbol okay um, maybe no for WSI and GUI lib Yeah, no, same thing. It cannot find the symbols because it's expecting them to already be different. Okay, so I do need the loader. I do need the loader. Trying to like do this. Nah, not quite going to work. Unfortunate.
put that down to the side and BRB one second all right um, is this the right size yeah, this should be the right size maybe increase it a little bit more all right <clears throat> so I do need to do this so I also basically yeah I basically do need to do all this I already do have all this here one thing I do need to do though is I need to put this in a different directory which is not included from the with the exports so I need to have first of all let's replace this for WSI loader like this private include um, exports I don't want to call it exports because it's local only local is this a directory that even exists currently so if I go to here 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 I have exports and I have source see make files but nothing else really so local private I'll just call it private it's a private header I could change that to like public and private or something like that hmm that's an idea anyways private that get rid of that and it's in private let's change that up here as well Let's do this across the whole uh, application first, actually. So wherever you are, generate export header. Here. Public. Let's change, change this to be like public. Oh, this was a test. Graphics VK be like the one that's private. So we don't actually want this to be public. Because it's actually overriding the one that actually comes with that. So we'll fix that up. That bit public, public and public. IMX YAML, yeah. This library is still kicking around somehow.
Okay, this is where it gets more interesting. We've got the exports, public, public. We've got the private. If you want to include this, it's the private. Private, private. Right, this is WSI Libsign GUI, correct? Yes. Or wait. Special list extra export for the regular photo WSI is because it is an interface library which does not have generated export header itself. Okay, this isn't going to matter soon because it's actually going to be pulling in uh, WSI loader soon, which will have a correct uh, the corrected thing for it. That's actually interesting. How am I going to do it? Like who that is going to be responsible for actually exporting the header? Eh, probably loader. Mm. Okay, whatever. At the moment, yes, that. Private. And we bring this and over here for private. Uh, this would be private. these items it doesn't export the header itself so we got that and we go on and put that in a private thing stuff. Now this is probably the exact same thing actually. Right? Would this work? This may actually not work. This is what public? Okay. I may have to reorder things just a little bit. Um, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, don't quite do this one yet. Okay, we've got some problems. Some being an understatement. You, you don't know where to find this file. Why? Why do you not know where to find this file? It should be here. It should be available right here. Or is it here? Okay.
This is expecting that. Okay. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Someone else is supposed to export it. And this is not... Okay, who else had problems? You did. The yeah, same thing again. But in this case, it was what? The test. The test for the exact same thing. This is expecting it to be available from someone already. could actually just generate one or use a generated one and do it that way as much as I don't really want to I kind of have to Okay, exports are public, really. Export, we got all this stuff. And I'll need to do something similar from the Windows side. So let's see if I can grab one from here and try to merge them together. I don't know if I should. I don't. Oh, I don't know what the Mac OS one looks like. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, that's not gonna work for static though, because these all blank out. Even if it is the same on Mac OS. Hmm. Okay, what if we do this? We at least do that until we get the loader or something going on. I think. That seems to work all right. So let's see if we can get this stuff in. Right. Okay, close these, close, just close it all, let's go. Public, public, okay. Mm -hmm.
Uh, this is private here. Okay, let's kind of do that little explanation. best explanation we're going to get. Nope, but yes on this one. Um, what's it doing? I'm GUI. This is temporary. Should I just have them all exported? They can all export it and as you know, they'll since this only applies on the exporting item. Yeah, so this should be fine actually if we if I just keep it over here. I can leave this public. Can't I? And then I could just do the same thing on the old one. I think. As it doesn't matter as long as one of them has it and is exported correctly. Why is this? Is does XR actually do much? That's a dummy C for those reasons. I did run into this before, and this is this is how I solved it through a dummy function, which is not what I should be doing. So we'll just leave XR for the moment. Put that back. Get this, yes. Now I have full graphics DK, put this back to public. It's okay if it exports it. Eventually, the, the root thing is going to be probably converted down to an interface as well. Which means someone else will be the one responsible for exporting it. 
So add that, 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 that. Looking for any of the others where I kind of moved it around. No, oh, that is a different one. I guess I can think of another way to do it. Okay, we got that. Uh, let me kind of, I mean, realistically what I'm about to do is I'm gonna, bother with this right now you know what I'm not even going to bother with this right now yeah let's just get a BUSI I'll just put it on the list of things to do let me not see okay so back to WSI, the loader, the loader, my first loader, baby's first loader, Look, just collapse, this, 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 okay, let's re-add loader, I'm going to have this, we're going to have a source directory, where I'm not sure if I need uh, anything else right now. That, okay. This, I need something with stuff that include I window HTTP. okay what I really wanted was this okay this is actually going to convert into a C so window dot H becomes that I need an, an in-space area here, okay. K 
Can I actually do a C type with... Uh, you know what? No, no. Don't even bother. I was just... But can you do a C interface with just actually using C++ types as returns? Might be able to. Because it, the, the C linkage just means it's, it doesn't have any of the other stuff on the ends. As long as you know it's the right one. You could probably still do it. Probably. Anyways. So, at this point, what I ha I'm going to do is this. Get rid of these, get rid of that, get rid of this. What's going to happen is it's going to be a bunch of type deaths. Place those with type def. Bam. And then these are becoming function pointers. So star, that, p, f, n, underscore like that. That, 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 that. And nope, not quite that, but this one and that one. Close them up. Now, I haven't actually done this before, but... How does a loader work? A loader probably works by re-exporting the same symbols, having them kind of fall back into some kind of dispatch table. It'll be like a table or a struct that just has all the pointers to these that it retrieved earlier when you first loaded in the actual implementation in the back. So we'll have this, so that and that. Destroy a window, that and that. That and that. Now, of course, this is really rough, and this is all being done manually. Uh, but after you get it right the first time, you can then automate it, automate it away. I need to get the implementation done first. Otherwise, I'll be kind of fighting two things at once. Fighting both trying to get the implementation right and fighting the automation at the same time. That's not a winning strategy. Need to get one side of this done. Okay, we'll get rid of this with that. So what's it? Next match is enter and replace is also enter. Uh, what? Right, that's terrible. Just have to click. Right. So at some point, I'll use like the plugin stuff. I'll load in the the dynamic library. I get the stuff. So what I need is the implementations of all these things in here. These will be exported again. And these will all be C linked linkages. Something like um, a global dispatch table.
something like this returns that every time it's almost like a pass through and of course if you already know the library that the implementation you're going to use you can statically link that in so it doesn't go through a loader so this is entirely optional but this is still available if you want to have the flexibility of switching between different backends and implementations mm -hmm. that's how it works in my mind return anything for this one nor 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 this one these I do Now, this is also kind of something that doesn't really matter. Like, technically, I'm already kind of have this kind of dispatch table thing going on with GLFW, but if I can, if I can get this to work on a simple enough uh, library like this, then I'll be able to use it, reuse it and replicate it like on the XR and on the graphics, perhaps the audio, hopefully. Window get size. So there's one more. Maybe I don't see it. One more error somewhere. Oh, semicolon. Okay. Spaces between everything. Readability. Okay, that is part of that. It's part of this. Uh, this is not I am GUI anymore. And in fact, this should be public now. Yeah. 
uh, from the base type it's going to get not that phone Vulcan that'll be fine okay let's see how that's gonna error out pretty bad let's do it real fast there we go we had something unable to find oh because I changed it to a C header it's no longer HPP I understand I don't know, or is it just here as well? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, what's going on? Where's the error? There it is. Same thing, HTTP to P, just H. Throwing things in a little bit of disarray. Then another one. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Okay, let's first of all make sure that um, I can still actually run this, which I can. Okay, back to the loader. So you have these items. Uh, I need to be able to connect and load now at the moment I'm going to assume that you're only going to load in one implementation and just continue to use that forever. So we'll only have like a will I'll I will actually need a include loaded on HPP. I can reuse the faux exports. So not HPP, it's just H again. I only want to be able to, I only really do want to build the loader if we're in a shared environment. Don't I? Yeah. Okay, well, that's a moment. Later, later, later. I need export. I need some kind of void or Boolean or error code or something. P 
the path, something like, something like this. I need to if this, then this. Bring this into here like that. Okay. I do have that, so I can bring in full plugin, which is going to have what I need to actually bring in a shared object right now, which is in which is extern C stuff. Good, 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 good. good. Uh, loader dispatch table, and I'll have a full plugin. It's not really a plugin implementation. It's that. I'll need to have some kind of error code for this. I don't know what yet. I just don't know what yet. Oh, one, something like that. No, that's not going to work at all, is it? It's going to die horribly if I try to use it. But I don't have anything else to really use right now, so mm, yeah. So, so is there actually a real point to having these error codes externally available? Yes, there is. Hmm. Moment, in a moment. Uh, I need this. I need a, you know, I'm not even gonna bother. If you're, if you're, if you're really gonna be crazy enough to try to do this, in multiple things at once, then yeah, go ahead, you mad lad. This actually already has mutex inside because of this on Linux, anyways. Hmm. You know what? Just like you can load it, and then you just keep it for the for the entirety of everything. So, that's it. That's it. We load it. Give me the path. I load it, and then everything else will be using it. The only safety I'll have is around this, which I'll create an error code for in a moment. So. 
so yeah i think so for wsi loader i'll need to kind of figure out how this is going to work perhaps Hmm. I'm going to need some custom stuff because if it's not hmm. realistically this would be something you want to do it statically Yeah, um, okay. I'm going to need some kind of global variable, which is like WSI implementation. And if it's none, if it's not specified, then it'll go through the loader. Otherwise, it'll go through that specific implementation that you requested. That's how it's going to probably going to have to work. Right now, if I do this, WSI loader, it's going to be going through the dispatch table right now, which is just going to be a whole bunch of garbage. Oh, I also need to be able to go through this. Then I need to go through like this. initializing it so what is, what is the point let's do this that's close that up equals that which will be this that bunch of reinterpret casts great I hate it
get title window. So, yeah, this is something that if I'm going to do for more than just this one library, I will need to get some kind of way to automate this, to generate this, because this is very tedious, very repeatable work. Content scale keyboard and mouse. Okay, and then I just need to kind of do this, getting rid of the first three characters. Finally, a finalizing bracket. Well, yeah. Okay, next part, next step. I need to make this. This Okay, this is all shared as it is right now. So what I want to do... is change something change the main application to use it just to see if i can realistically Okay, um, not quite from there then. Application, where do I create the window? Right here, I create the window right here. What I need to do is I need to make sure I need to include so draw H, I need to use that instead of this. Uh, that's not even the right location. This will be the right location. Okay. Great. Window, window, window. It was right. I had it. Window, window. Here it is. And as part of this, I need to know where it is. So, target 
Uh, compile definitions. Uh, private. Now I'll have this somewhere in test for a plugin, I believe, like something like this. Something like this. So instead of this, it'll be WSI implementation equals that equals WSI W3. Okay, this is going to not work, but let's see what happens. Oh boy, that is going to kill me right away. Um, <laughs> global it just be an empty function like that global processing like that okay we'll have that we'll kind of put it so this is what's going to happen here we're going to get rid of the include here Instead, it's going to become this. Like that, and we get rid of, we trash this. Trash this. Okay. You go all the way down here. Change that to that. And then I'll also need to update that in the loader. PFN. that nothing to do nothing to do g dispatch table dot table processing leave that okay we blank it out like that and if it's not null pointer Then we do that. Since it may not be no. Or oh okay, I see what's going on. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Almost. And to find reference to that. Okay. Are you sure? Pretty sure I'm including it. 
as part of the loader. And that it would also therefore be coming out of this. These two I understand. Of course I do. Of course I do. Triple P, wow. That's some fun stuff. Okay, just, yeah, just add it as it is right now. Just, I need to get something working. I'm still pretty blind as to whether or not this is even going to work. these three to be added to the bottom here. So we got this, that, and we get this minus the first four characters. Simple enough. two functions down here. I mean, if I can actually use standard error code, then I might be able to... You know what? I can find out right now. Let's see what happens. Will it, will it work? Will it not? Let's find out. Okay, I'm just missing this somehow.
I'm exporting it from here. WSI loader. Oh. Okay. I'm just not exporting it. That's why. Because I never included the thing that says to export it. That's right. Okay. Let's see. How bad does this work? If it even works at all. Right here. Let's go. So this is something. P path of that, which looks about right. Okay, let's just say we go through all these. Dispatch table is still mostly empty, so we go down to there. It's mostly full now. Missing that. Okay, this is F5, and we're fine. We are fine. It works. It actually does work. Very, very, very nice. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Loader, loader, all right. That kind of leaves the question up in the air of does this even, okay, I need to, that's the last thing I put in here, git log, I put, okay. Push that and git checkout, WSI loader. I just stuff all this and see how it reacts on the other OS's. This is going to be a bit of a little fun. put that up so the first interesting thing is on Windows how does it work does it build first of all then does it run I can't actually test if it runs on this because this is a VM and I don't no longer have the second video card that runs it. But I can see if it builds. And on the Mac machine. J and it built everything. Okay. That is very positive.
Now, if I'm using the loader, then I'm going to have to I'm going to have to make some modifications. First of all, like if I'm using a loader, then I'll have to add settings for let's say Okay, let me actually add this as part of things. WSI loader add task add subtask. Uh one thing I need to do. CLI and File settings for choosing the implementation. WSI implementation at runtime. I need to ensure that WSI. I need. Okay, no, no. I need CMake script modifications to choose implementation let's compile time I also need to CLI settings for choosing the WSI implementation at runtime so you make script modifications to choose implementation at compile time application modification to choose between loader using loader or choosing implementation or static direct or static link time chosen implementation the idea would be like if I decide that if I have a CMake option where I just say, you know, the WSI implementation is GLFW3, then I can just use WSI GLF3 directly here, which also means I would no longer require like this nor the options to choose the implementation because I'd already have it baked into the application or directly linked into the application, or maybe even statically linked into the application, in which case like this loader implementation stuff, you don't need. I have a multitude of choices and I'm going to implement them next time because I've been through enough for the moment. And I think two and a bit hours, two hours 20, yes. That's about right. And any issues I find at runtime on Windows and Mac OS, I'll fix then. So for now, cheers.